you do an inventory check of your thoughts, 85, 95% of your thoughts is negative. You know what I'm saying? You have to un yourself and start focusing on positive outcomes. You got to focus on the positive possibilities in order to produce positive results. What I'm not going to do is I'm not going to let a bad day dictate the outcome of my whole year. Heard me? I totally get it. Good morning, YouTube. Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Traveling Gun. My name is Thomas. And today is another five day trip for me today. I'm working with a classmate of mine. Um, I'm reporting from the laboratory because the cleaners are out there cleaning and they're making too much noise. But I'm the best, best, best flying partner ever. So I knew that I was working with my uh, classmate. She likes Dr. Pepper. So I brought her a few Dr. Peppers, you know, for the trip that we're on um, today. So today I have five legs, which is going to be a long day, but I end up getting to Wilmington very very late tonight so I'm gonna go ahead and get ready to get ready to board pre-flight check all my equipment and I'll see you guys a little bit later on in Wilmington Ladies and gentlemen, I have made it to my room here in Wilmington, North Carolina, and today has been a very long day. It has been 12, a 12 hour duty day today. So I'm not tired, I'm not tired, but I do have to get up a little bit in the afternoon. I have a 12 o'clock van, so it's not too late. And then I end up with three legs tomorrow. Um, as far as today, it was pretty easy, just five legs, and that's pretty much it to it. It's not really a lot going on uh, besides that my main line has announced that they're not going to furlough any flight attendants whatsoever um, which can be it it doesn't include us but my logical thinking is if they're not furloughing and they were overstaffed then we're not going to furlough at all because we're not overstaffed at all so that could be good and bad news uh, well good news for all of us around but again, that's just my logical thinking. I'm not for sure if that's how it's going to work. Um, my company did offer additional leave for October, but for only 55 flight attendants. So it's down from the 250 for the month of September and to 55 for October. So it is what it is. Um, I can only, you know, I'm taking it one day at a time, rolling with the punches. But and another thing is I've actually slacked off on working out, but I didn't work out my last trip for the simple fact of, you know, I was getting in late and I stayed at a lot of places where the gym was closed, which that's no excuse, but I did not gain any weight. Um, I actually lost weight too. And I was just off for, for the last five days. So I actually lost weight at the same time without even working out. So that's a good thing, but I'll see you guys a little bit later on in the mid morning tomorrow. I'm going to get ready and take a shower laying in bed and just trying to wind down so i'll see you guys a little bit good afternoon everybody welcome to day two of five for me um slept very very good last night with the exception of i had the do not disturb uh thing on my door yet uh room service not room service but uh housekeeping tried to come in they knocked on the door said housekeeping clearly it says i don't leave until 12 20 today but they came about six or seven o'clock in the morning but luckily for me i could just go back to sleep and it didn't wake me up and keep me up um i have four legs today and i get done again late tonight but tomorrow is when i swap my schedule out as far as like i told you before i mix and match because i was going to get back late on go home day so i swapped it and my overnight tomorrow night is only 10 hours and then i have earlier reports for the remaining two days so i can go home five hours earlier on go home day so i'll see you guys a little bit later on today Good evening. I've made it here to Huntsville. It was uh, a long 11 hour duty day. And it was long only because of 
to sit. Like we were back to back to back and then I had a sit before I got here to Huntsville. Um, very uneventful flight at per usual, love it that way. Um, this hotel is literally in the airport. So I have a very, very, very late report. So I don't have to really get up for a van as early. All I have to do is just walk through. Literally, we're right outside of TSA and it's just, you just walk in. Um, nothing else to report on or update you guys on. I am finna go work out. Um, again, like I said, I skipped a week and look at this now that i'm talking look at this look at the stain on the cover definitely check your beds check your beds to um make sure there's no stains like this and that your sheets are clean so i'm gonna have to go down back downstairs and let them know hey um check i'm gonna check some more and see if anything else is not right about this room um because my skin gonna start itching a little bit, but I'm gonna work out though today. I haven't worked out in a while, um, probably a week. I haven't worked out for a week, so I'm gonna go do that, get that out the way. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I get up. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, so today is three or five, I think it is. Yeah, three or five, and um, I have two legs today. This is the part where I actually swapped out my schedule to where I can go home a lot about five hours early on go home day and <clears throat> excuse me and today if I would have kept my schedule I would have had like six hours worth of sit in be you know in between like I would have went back to Atlanta sat for probably a two hours did a turn came back and sat for another three hours and then did another turn to my overnight so I swapped that out to where now I only have an hour and a half sit and then I go to Hershey, Pennsylvania today. Plus on go home day, I uh, I get home five hours earlier than I would have if I kept my original schedule. And I didn't lose any hours. Basically all the hours are still the exact same. So it still worked out for me. That is what I usually do if I see, if I don't wanna go home, even though you know I wanna sleep in some, but like tomorrow, it's only, I have a 10 hour overnight, so I leave at, I have to get up at like six in the morning. But again, I've gotten my rest for these first two days or first three days. And now I can just, I just wanna go, be able to go home early. Um, other than that, there's nothing really else for me to kind of swap for in open time. But it's not, to, this is a real bad month for swapping because there's nothing new coming in or people are able to drop something. So I can't really change out my schedule anymore, but I'll still keep looking every day just to try to see if I can do something a little bit better or to try to maximize on my hours. So that's how it goes here. So um, I'll see you guys a little bit later on today once I get to Hershey, Pennsylvania. Good evening, everybody. So I made it here to Hershey, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna try to keep this quick because I have to do a lot of things, not a lot of time. This is exactly a, almost like a 10 hour layover. And I have a van at, I have to get up at six, I have a van at seven, and I have to go work out because it's already a little bit after eight. And I have to work out, come back, settle in, take a shower and get ready for bed to try to get enough sleep, even though I only have two legs tomorrow. So it's not gonna be brutal. So, but this is the hotel where I woke up thought because I thought I was late and I basically didn't have anything together. Like I didn't even brush my teeth, wash my face because I thought I was late and I was going to get that away on the on on the uh, airplane. I was going to just get ready on the airplane, but it turns out I wasn't. But so I'm back at this hotel again. So I'm going to get with you all tomorrow morning when I get up. I'm going to get ready for this workout and go down and work out for about 45 minutes to an hour and then come back up here and get ready for bed. So I'll see you guys a little bit later on tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. Today is day four or five for me. And uh, it's a lot earlier report than I have the last three days, but it is what it is. I get to go home early, so that's all that matters because I only have one day off in between because of my vacation is at the end of the month so that's why i have one day off in between it wasn't something that i did on my doing but i guess to give me enough hours that i bid it for with my vacation being at the tail end of the month 
so they gave me one day off in between so it is what it is so i want to get i wanted to get home a lot earlier than i would have originally because of the one day off but i only have two legs from harrisburg to atlanta and then atlanta back to huntsville again and i'm done for the day about one o'clock and then i have all day in huntsville to lounge around and do nothing if i if i don't want to but I'll see you guys a little bit later on today. And I do have a three hour sit, but I'll see you guys a little bit later on today once I get to Huntsville. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, I made it back to Huntsville, so I came back to the same place that I've been to today. It's a very easy day, two legs and a sit. I am sleepy, but it is too late in the day for me to go to sleep because if I go to sleep now, take a nap, I will be up. So what I'm gonna do is probably, I don't know, I'm gonna go work out and try to figure out something to do so I don't go to sleep because I can't lay in this bed for too long because of if i do i'm gonna end up falling asleep so i'm gonna get up go work out i see you guys tomorrow which is go home day good morning good morning everybody it's go home day for me today is day five um i am tired i love and hate these early reports i love them because i get to go home early on go home day i hate them because i just hate getting up early but that is the reason why i did swap it out was for the simple fact that i get to come home six hours earlier and I only have one day off, so that's the reason why. But I was originally supposed to do a day trip. Testing. I was supposed to do Testing. a day trip to Seattle on one of my five days off, but I forgot about it. And yeah, I, I didn't, but it's coming. I'm gonna do that on one of my vacation days. Um, to anyone that is new here, please make sure you hit that subscribe button to all my returning subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and supporting. I do appreciate it. Um, until next time, everybody be safe. Have a great day. Phone call, and I'm ready to blow y'all. About to go, y'all. Been a pleasure to know y'all. And I'm letting you know.